Hey, this is Colton from WhiplashPC.com. We got a HodgePodge uh, TV tuner card here. It's uh, HD compatible. It's also got an FM tuner and the remote. So, uh, this is the Win TVR HVR 2250 model. We're going to go ahead and open it up and see what we got here. It's all wrapped up in plastic right now, so give us a second. Some of its features, it says it can uh, two complete ATSC, NTSC, QAM tuners on board. It says uh, it's different t uh, technology, or not technology, but different airwaves for cable. And if you're running an antenna, it will be fine off of that too for HD antennas. Inside, we got the TV tuner card. We can open that up. TV tuner card plugs into a PCI, not express slot, but the regular PCI newer express. I'm not sure what they call them 100%, but you can see they're the tinier ones. Not all motherboards have them, so you're going to have to check and see if you have one. I believe it's a PCI express uh, 1.0 or a 2.0. It's something different. But on the back, it's pretty basic. Let's see what else we got in here. We got the remote. The remote looks pretty nice. It's also got batteries with it. Universal batteries. I'm not sure who makes those. But uh, pretty nice remote. It's a little light, but it'll probably do the job. Along with other accessories, it has different back plates depending on how you're going to use it. You can swap some things off and on. It says TBN on one, and the other one also says S Video, so you can probably swap those off. We have the S Video to red, white, and blue, or red, white, and yellow cables here. It looks like we have the FM tuner here, I believe it is. Yes, it looks like it should be the FM tuner. And that has everything you need there. We got the driver CD. We also have the. I'm not sure what this would be. I'm not sure what this is. I'm not even going to tell you because I have no idea. But this is a S Video port that you put on for an adapter to this card that plugs into one of these up here. I guess it would probably read the manual here. But um, that plugs in there, and then you have the S Video, the yellow video cable, and you have an audio in and blaster 2, whatever that is. Uh, the instruction manuals are pretty basic. It basically just shows you how you can pause your video, everything like that. Um, there's not a whole lot more to it. I'll update a video using it later, and I'll show you everything else from there.